Hey guys, had a few people ask me a few questions about our Chevy Silverado, which is our touring rig. So let's go and have a run through it. Righto, so what do we have? We bought this second hand. It's a 2016 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. It's got an LML Duramax turbocharged 6.6 litre motor in it, with, coupled with the Allison six speed gearbox, which is pretty much makes it indestructible. So it's all pretty standard other than a couple of little things. Um, the previous owner did put a three inch lift in it. Um, so that was there. When we bought it, uh, it's a 2016 model. It's just 12 months now we've had it. Uh, it had 28,000 Ks on it when we picked it up. So the guy that had it, legend of a dude, Scott, he pretty much had it just to put his boat in the water. Um, and the boat ramp was all of about two Ks from his house. So um, things I've taken off. I did have a nudge bar on the front, which I wasn't overly fussed on, but I took that off because it didn't handle the corrugations. And with the spotlights on it, they broke. So I took that off and put the spotties on it. So the color of the car is actually a blue color, which you can probably may or may not see up here on the bonnet. And then we've put this wrap on it here as well. Um, and obviously the darker wrap just allows the uh, branding, in my opinion, to stand out a bit more. But let's run down, have a look at the back. So we get the focus, yep. Righto, so let's start with the, the tub. We've run with the Smart Cap Canopy. Um, I love the Smart Cap Canopy. It's a nice, um, inexpensive option for us as well to start with. As much as I'd love to put a nice big canopy on the back of it, we've run with a smart cap. Stainless steel, it's great as well. Um, relatively light, can put a decent payload on the top. So we're running a 30 second awning at the moment, uh, which came off the Y62, which was previously actually already on our old 80 series as well. So it's getting a little bit on now. Love the Max Tracks. Max Tracks um, brackets there bolt to the back of the awning, which gets them up and out of the way. They sit up there, nice and easy for me to jump up there and grab down as well. Um, we've got our little Selfly Go aerial just magneted on there, and I've got my UHF aerial mounted on the other side. Um, yeah, the roof racks, you can put rooftop tents and everything up here as well, but these open up, give me full access. For those that have pets as well, you, can, you have got these little windows that open up, so then the pets can have a little bit of breathing hole as well. Okay. Um, but apparently you're not allowed to put the kids in the back. Um, I do have a false floor in here, so from here down is a whole separate section. Up here is a top section, which I'll show you around the back. We just have simple things here, like all Donna's shopping bags, nice and easy for her to grab hold of. Things that I don't use a lot of, so Donna's kayak balls, my spear gun, just cable tied up on the roof. Come around the back and I'll show you around here. Right, eh, just before I open up the back, a couple little things that I want to add as well. I put an extra Safety Dave camera up here as well, which runs to a monitor on my dash. Um, that allows me just to see then when I'm towing, if oh, I've forgotten to clip up the uh, stone stomper, which has happened a couple of times when the kids go and grab a drink out of the fridge, but we'll get to that. Also running the DO45 hitch, um, again with the van, because we've gone to this, when I was talking to Jace from Titanium, he said, if you want a um, van that we wanted, which was a 23.6, he said, I've got to get an American truck. He would not sell me the van unless I went to the American truck. And obviously a couple of friends of ours, which you may know them, I'm pretty sure you do, ADU, Chris and Miriam. Chris is a massive Chevy advocate. Um, so when Donna jumped on, and actually Donna found this car, so when we found it, we said, yep, it's a no-brainer. The price was right, the Ks were right. We went and jumped on it. Um, but things that have really, really helped. So Stone Stomper, no dust now between the car and the van. Uh, so this is the Gen Y Boss Torsion Hitch, which takes all that junt, um, shuddering or junting when the van pushes you, especially if you're going through some of those culverts or um, floodways. Um, it just, any bumps, it just takes that push out. And obviously having a four and a half ton van, don't want that. So this has been a game changer, coupled with a DO45 hitch, it's wicked. Um, what else we got back here? Oh, also two two plugs here, under there, which are for the Safety Dave um, cameras that are on the back of the van. So I've got one camera that's pointing straight down so I can see when I'm reversing up to a fence or a tree, and the other one is more so I can actually, on my rear view mirror, I can actually see all the traffic behind my van as if I was looking in the rear view mirror on a normal car. All right, let's open this up now. 
there we go complete false floor allows me to stack everything in there from our diving equipment um, boogie boards um, I've got my box there which has got all my car washing hoses if I need to fill up the truck with water which I'll get to in the moment um, a 240 inlet so when I need to plug the van in the, sorry the car into charge uh, which I'll get to the battery system in a second one other little quick thing I'll just shut that for a second up here which is another reason I really like the smart cat canopy we've got a table so that table comes out and allows me to set things up with the fam shark's eyes um, and really quickly have a table that's nice and accessible. It's up and out of the way in the roof as well. I'll leave that there while I keep talking about the truck. All right, let's go open this up again now. Start at the front of the cab, right up, up the front underneath. I've got two 80 litre tanks for water. So a lot of the times when we're free camping, if I've got to run back into town to grab groceries, I can top up with the water, take it back and pump it back into the van. I've got a filler on the side here. I'll oh, just come here for two seconds. I've got water filler down here to fill the water. And what I've done on each side step is I've run this other hose up to here that allows me then to wash the kids' feet off, uh, wash the car, and there's one on either side. So again, if I need to fill up the van, I can just use these from the water pump that's in the, in the truck as well. That just makes it really nice and easy, especially with the kids. They can open up the door, stand on the side step, hose their feet off, and it's all happy days. So that's a nice little uh, mod there as well. Right. So air, big thing, because we're always letting tires down and up. Um, and with that as well, the four drive capabilities of this blows me away. A big truck, and a lot of people rate don't rate them as four drives. Oh my God, I was one of those, and how wrong I was. I reckon this thing would go anywhere that my 80 or my Y62 did. The only thing is, yes, it's wider. So some of those tracks that are a little bit narrower, a couple of extra pinstripes, but amazing off-road capabilities. So um, I have a good air compressor sitting at the front of these drawers, comes back to this point here. I can plug my air hose in, it reaches the van and the car as well. Double draw system, the 1340 long. Um, sorry 1800 long so i've been able to keep all my gear in here nice and secure as well um, moving across this fridge slide is from dun and watson allows us with this 95 liter cfx fridge from dometic which is just amazing um, the capacity of the food that we can carry in here now with the big freezer fridge um, we can look at the monitor and i can see exactly the fridge is at three degrees and the freeze is at minus 18 um, and then get that through onto your phone as well which is epic so ever we're driving and i go oh i wonder how the fridge is going we can look at it from, from the front of the car which is epic um, but this coupled with 300 amp hour btec lithium battery from enerdrive which sits at the end of the fridge slide up the front and the traveler system and a few flies <laughs> Um, the traveler system so we've got the 40 plus dc to dc we've got the 40 ac to dc and a 2600 watt inverter in here as well um, and all managed by the traveler and the sly marine system so at any one time when we're driving i've got the dc to dc wound up to pump in actually 50 amps when we're driving um, but i don't run any solar or anything on the truck either so it's just from driving righto so 300 amps in of lithium in the truck. Some people think it's a lot or excessive. Other people not. I've met people have got 900 in the truck. But what we do is because we're completely gasless cooking in the van, there's times at night where Donna wants to run everything. So thermo, air fryer, induction. I can actually plug in a cable from here in the truck, plug it into the van that gives her a dedicated power point to run off the inverter in here. Um, which just gives her a lot more freedom as well. But the um, thing I love about the travel system is, obviously I've got all my switches, air compressor, water pump, lights. Um, I haven't actually used this end one yet. I can turn on my um, inverter from here as well, which makes it nice and easy no matter where we are. But all coupled with the Cy Marine 
it enables me if I'm running the car I can check how much um, how many amps are going back into the battery what I've actually done a test board before is I've actually plugged and reversed and used a solar off the van to charge here if we haven't driven anywhere for about five days because there's no solar on the car and I can actually pump in uh, it was about 90 amps at any one time back into this battery if I've got the car running and I plug it into the van. So this morning, for example, we haven't been anywhere for four days where we are right now. We were down to 25%. I just plugged it into the van for a couple of hours. This got back up to 50% and that's enough because I know we've got a long drive tomorrow. Um, so that keeps everything running. But this all mounts really nicely to the side wall of the Chev and just makes everything nice, tidy and neat and gives me all this other room under here just for the fridge, um, the drawer system, there's a 300 amp hour battery up the front, there's an air compressor, there's a water um, pump and the two 90 litre um, tanks that sit up there for our water. So um, yeah, this obviously little storage, our core peat there for our composting toilet because I don't know when we're going to be able to get that next. Um, it just makes life nice and simple. Right guys, so I just want to talk a little bit deeper as to why we've chosen the Chevy and more about the safety aspects of these vehicles, right? So these have been designed as tow tugs. Like they are just complete trucks built for towing. So with a 6.6 .6 litre turbocharged diesel motor with a six speed gearbox, literally towing my 4.25 ton van, it is walking, okay? A lot of you will probably be shocked to know that our average fuel consumption, right, is about 22 litres per 100. Um, on a really good day, it'll actually get down to 18. On a bad day where we've had 50 kilometre hour headwinds, yeah, we'll get to about 26, right? But, and that, that just blows me away because that's better than my old Y62. Um, but they feel like such a big planted car. So it's towing, we've had crosswinds, it just sticks on the road. Now the horsepower and the output of these things as well. So when we get to a hill, um, it just kicks back a gear and it just sits on 100, straight up and over the hill. It doesn't even slow down, um, it is amazing. If we do need to overtake, I feel so comfortable and confident that if I put my foot down, this thing gets up and boogies and it'll get me through where I need to get through in safety, and obviously everything's done safely, um, versus worrying about the van controlling the car. The car controls the van, 100%. Um, and it just feels, I don't know, it, it, it's hard to explain, but I feel much more relaxed after driving. Sometimes when I've had the old Y62 and my three and a half ton van, Sometimes on a good strong crosswind days, I'd get to where we were driving to and I'd feel exhausted because I am 110% concentrating the whole time. Not that I don't concentrate, don't get me wrong, but you're more confident and competent driving something like this when you've got a big van on behind you. And having that bigger motor means that the car is working less when towing, which is where the better fuel consumption comes into it as well. Um, and again, quite a simple motor. I service this myself as well. It's easy to get access to the fuel filter, the oil filters, um, and the 10 litres of fuel that it, it takes. Uh, de uh, oil, yeah, 10 litres of fuel. 140 litre fuel tank, 10 litres of oil. Um, and it's awesome. Just absolutely love it. So inside the cab. Now, this car is seven years old, right? 2016 model. So, I thought my maths was right. Four and three, seven. Yep, good. Um, so a couple of things in here that uh, that were a game changer, especially towing a van that's 4.25 ton, rated up to four and a half. A couple of things that I've got down here along my controls, we've actually got exhaust braking. So what actually happens is the moment I touch the brake uh, or apply any sort of pressure, it'll actually start putting the car back down through the gears from the automatic gearbox and using the gearbox and the exhaust braking to slow us up as well which is great for assistance. I've also got a downhill mode. So downhill will actually kick you right down in the gears and hold it in a low gear. So if we've done some steep hills, where were we? Out the back of the Gold Coast, in Tambourine Mountain Way. There was a hill I used that, especially towing the van down. It just made life a lot more comfortable for us as well. Um, we've just got our normal has um, parking sensors. This is a great little 
button here. The kids love this one. It's called, we call it the jellyfish launcher because it looks like there is literally at the back of the ute, it's launching a jellyfish. It's actually turning the red light on, but for whatever reason, the picture looks like a jellyfish, the kids reckon. Traction control and the last button there is actually being able to move the pedals on the floor here up and down. So on the door, I've got two settings. So I can set it for Donna where the pedals come up to meet her and she can set her seat and steering height all from those buttons as well, which makes life easy. A little bit of creature comforts. We do have heat seat warmers as well. Not coolers, just the warmers. Um, cruise control, steering wheel heater. But um, over here as well, on this, on the actual lever, I've got a tow haul mode. So whenever I hook the van up, I'm turning tow haul mode up, uh, on. What it tends to do is hold you in gears longer with the van on. Um, and again, also helps compensate when touching the air brakes. It'll actually help slow you down as well. Uh, versus just relying on the pure brakes to slow you down when you're coming up to an intersection or something like that. So the tow haul mode is, is awesome. I can also manual mode change here as well. So when we're forward driving, I'll actually go to manual mode and I'll actually use this up and down to be able to hold. If we're going through some soft sand, I don't want to change up a gear, then kick back and go backwards and forwards. I can actually hold it in second or first or third, whatever we need to do. But look, I, I, we don't mind the, the layout. Two big cup holders here, a nice big tray in here, phone slot. There's phone charging. Put your phone up on here and it'll charge your phone here as well. Um, my safety Dave that, that uh, is on the back of the van comes through this monitor here so I can see when I'm looking at my rear view when I'm towing, I can see exactly what's behind me. Um, then this one here allows me to see directly what's between me and the van to make sure I've clipped up the stone stomper or the kids haven't left a pair of shoes on the stone stomper. All those sorts of things tend to happen. Um, but yeah, look, love the truck. Um, it has been a total game changer. But anyway, that's our truck run through. If there's any questions, please make a comment below. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and see you in the next video.